Hi everybody, today I'm going to try something a little bit different. It's been a while since I've done a haul and today we're going to do a thrift haul. We're going to start off with these two. I got these from Goodwill and just know that if I tell you that I got something thrifted, it came from Goodwill. That's the only place I go now. So um, This says it is a wood vase. It was originally $32.99, although I don't see how. Here's the other one from that set. It was $37.99. And then they did have 50% off uh, marks on those, but I got mine from the Goodwill Bargain Store, and those items are $1.79 a pound up to 40 pounds, and then you get a slight discount at $1.49 a pound. So this is kind of a collective haul. These items were collected and bought over a bit of time, probably a month, maybe four visits, because I try to go once a week. So the next thing I got was this little birdhouse. Um, I like the way this birdhouse looks. I like the natural top on this birdhouse, the little old shingle top, but uh, it's missing a bottom. And I'm kind of... I'm thinking I'm going to do something else with this because I don't really care for all the cutesy stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm going to change that up. Here is another birdhouse that I got. And this one is like a, a metal and it's got like a gold or a brass finish. So it's just like a cage type birdhouse or a bird cage. The next one is this, I think this is a, uh, a wreath swag piece and it's kind of a curved one so you would put your arrangement this way maybe it would go over a door top or something like that it's got a wire backing and this is just all kind of I don't know vines whatever that's made out of next item is this pitcher and uh, let me see if I can uh, our watering can not sure where this came from but it says it is a copper and patinaed watering can so I thought this was really nice. I don't think I'm going to leave it this way uh, because it doesn't really fit into my decor style. But I might. I can still use it outside if I need to for watering my plants. Next thing is this candlestick. Now I've had this candlestick, probably one of the oldest things that I've gotten out of this haul. It looked terrible. It was a darker color that was um, maybe like a some type of a shiny finish that was starting to flake off. There was wax. There's still some wax from a candle in the top, but it had dripped all down the sides. I cleaned that all up, sanded it all down, and have gotten it ready for some type of a DIY. I've just not decided what I want to do with this yet. Next thing are these little, it's some type of a, I don't know, like a woven or rope style coasters. They're kind of dirty, they're kind of bad looking, but they can be painted. And I thought I would use these in a DIY. Next little thing is this can, and this came from the, tar the Target <laughs> Dollar Spot uh, Galvanized Metal Pail. But I got it, obviously, at Goodwill, like I said. I like the little copper handles there, so we'll be doing something cute with this. Next item is this four pack of these wooden napkin rings. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but there are a lot of crafting options, you know, that you can use these pieces for. They can be stacked, you can make something with them, you know, they could be wheels for something. We'll just have to see. Not sure yet, but they're good, good pieces to craft with. Next item up is this Home Sweet Home Shadow Box, and it does have a locking mechanism on the side. It's already nicely aged. I've cleaned this one up. Um, I've wiped it all off. It had some dust just caked on it and I got all that off. This inside is like a fabric on a foam it feels like. It's got hinges on it and uh, the back can be removed with screws. I'm not sure where it came from but it looks like the original price was $29.99 and it does have a hanger to put on the wall which is good because it has a lip here which means it wouldn't be a very good setter, um, sitter unless you put some blocks or something other, uh, under it to stand it up. So, yeah, that's going to be something fun to craft with, I think. Next item is this decorative wall tile. It says it's paintable to fix your decor. 
Um, and it looks like maybe somebody had it in a garage sale. There's a 50 cent sticker on it. It already is scratched up and roughed up. And it says it came from Old Time Pottery for $3.75. Here's a little birdhouse. If you have seen my little, uh, I've already done a video with the other birdhouse. And I did a floral arrangement, so I'll try to put that um, in the description box. And uh, if I can remember, I'll put it in the card above the video so that you can watch that one. This one has a bird. The other one did not have a bird on it. Um, but yeah, we'll be flipping this. Looks like it was fairly simple to make. But we'll be flipping this for something for sure to put on my porch. Here is a picture frame. But I like the, this is not, I don't think this is actual wood. But it has a really pretty gray aged wood appearance. There's no glass in there, but that's not a problem for me because I use mine usually without glass when I do um, wall decor. So there's that. Next piece is this hook hanger. I don't know what you would call this. It needs a little bit of dusting. These are not my colors. I'm going to change this up. You probably already know that by now, but it, you just attach it to the wall with these hangers. And then you don't have to do individual holes in your wall because it's already in one board, which makes it convenient. These screws, you could always take these off this piece of wood and put it on something else. This little piece is already adorable. It looks like a DIY. It's got some kind of raveling out right here. Yeah, but it's still really cute. And it's just a, looks like a bead board piece of wood back there. And then it's got... That looks like it was painted on. And then this little plaque on top with a clamp. It'd be a really cute picture frame. It's probably what it was used for. I don't know where Young's ink, where this comes from. You can hang it or use the kickstand. But yeah, that's really cute as it is. But I think I'm going to just give this a little bit of a change up. Um, it needs to be refreshed just a little bit. This piece came off of a Dollar General. It's a Little Shepherd Garden sign. So it probably had like a, a hook, a shepherd's hook with it, maybe. But it's like a, a plaster or something. And it says, gardeners know the best dirt. I thought this was really cute and definitely would be something cute to put on my porch for um, spring and summer. And I also got this, this little spade with a rake on the other side. You can see that. This is cute. Not sure what I'm going to use this for. It'd be really cute, I think, in a tiered tray. You could probably just lean it up against something. Maybe even used in conjunction with this. Next item is this little, I don't know, it's a planter, I would assume. A little container box. It already has a lot of, it looks like natural rusting and dents and dings in it. I think I can add this to some existing pieces and make this a really cute a uh, little floral arrangement. This washboard is wonderful. It is aged. You can see bee holes in it. You can see authentic rust. You can see little gnaw marks here where animals and vermin have been biting into it, as well as the legs are breaking down. And here, this is all, this is all nicely aged and gnawed at. See that? It could have even been a rat. I don't know. But it's been cleaned up a little bit. It's still got some, it's still going to continue to flake. But for my intents and purposes, use this way. You can see just a little bit of the loving without all that damage on the leg. And we could do something really cute with this, I think. But it's an old washboard. Is that not the cutest thing? Look at this rust. Ugh. Next piece I got was this large sign. It is a little on the heavy side. It's got damage, and I don't know anybody named Abigail, but that's okay. This will be repurposed. It looks like this will peel a little bit. I could probably add a little bit of, um, well, I don't know what this is in the back, though. I could either cover it or sand it off probably would be the best option to keep from damaging this board because, this, you see, this is just like a particle board. So it originally came from Home Goods, and it was $14.99, and then it looks like... Um, it says compare it $28 and then somebody was asking $3.93 for it. It's got a sawtooth hanger on the back and it's pretty good size too. It's uh, 16, looks like 16 inches long and nine and a half inches wide. So a lot of good, 
crafting options with this and thank goodness it already has that heavy duty hanger in the back because this thing's got a little little weight to it like a a real piece of heavy wood next item is this vintage mirror um, I will turn it over in just a second but um, I'm going to take the back out before I do that so I don't blind you with my camera lights. This one has not been cleaned yet. It's fairly new to me and it's going to require quite a bit of cleaning and then I'm going to change it up. So let me just pop out this mirror really quickly for you. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Mine is a good cleaning, but we're going to give this a makeover and make this thing look fantastic we're going to do like a cottage look with this mirror this is what i hope to achieve a little cottage farmhouse um, or shabby chic look so it's pretty big too um it's about hmm, a little over two feet long and about 14 inches wide and the glass was not broken so that's a good thing if we want to use it for that but it could be used for a frame you know whichever way we decide to do this Next piece is just this small wreath. I have an obsession with wreaths. I have so many that I have collected because I, I love doing them. I love making seasonal um, and holiday wreaths. So I'm not the best at it. I'm learning, uh, but yeah, I know what I like in them. So that's what I try to focus on. And I got lots of wreath videos, wreath making videos. If you're interested in that, I do have a playlist for um, all year long wreaths as well. Next thing I have are these two little pieces. I'm not sure where they came from. Probably like a Dollar General or Family Dollar, something like that. Just a little particle board stuff. And my daughter loves the coastal theme and I thought I might do some pieces this summer um, with the coastal, farmhouse coastal decor. So those are cute. I got this gorgeous little basket. Let's see, it says, coins and company not sure where that is but it says wings and wonder the herald femistum femister something like that collection so originally it was seven dollars and 75 cents love the little basket it's got this beautiful blue butterfly and i am not going to do anything to this i have already started using this as a scrap ribbon bin so i just put my little scraps in here and keep them by my table so i can easily pull those out when i need a little scrap for a bow or whatever else this little piece says made for retail in 2018 but i don't know where it came from i would think maybe a dollar tree um, this looks like it's painted on with some type of chalk paint but it's got two sides on there so there's a lot of options with this little board I have a, another swag wreath maker. Um, this has the little wires already on it. And it says it was from Allstate Floral, $5.99. So there we go. There's that one. It's pretty long. We got it's two feet long and about four inches wide. So that would make a nice substantial piece for your door. And the last piece I have for this video is this ceramic candle holder or candle stand or whatever you want to call it i'm not sure it was from but it is a a brass patinaed finish and it has glue spider webs on it and uh i'm thinking i'm going to do something else with this i want to try to make this look a little bit different it looks great as it is i'm sure there are lots of people who enjoy this style but i want to change it up to fit into my decor and that's the great thing about crafting you can make it your own you can switch things up it you know paint a little hot glue a little ribbon some florals and you can change the appearance of something completely you just make this your base and then you just add to it so i look forward to crafting with all of these wonderful pieces and i hope that you subscribe and stick around so that you'll be sure to be notified of all of my diy videos in the future Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!